Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is a very in the moment decisive video for me to do today. As you can probably see, it's a very natural in the moment video. I've literally just jumped out of the shower. Um, but I feel like it needed to be said today. I put a video out over on my close friend Instagram story um, of me being very real and raw in the moment and it felt like what needed to be done because it could have helped somebody else. Um, yeah, and I got a lot of responses back to the video I put out when asking people if they wanted um, the help slash the link that I had used in the moment. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking more about spirituality, meditation and my experience. Um, it's going to be a very raw, real, might be all over the place video, but I feel like it just needs to be spoken about because of how magical and how in-depth the some of these practices are on myself. I know some people will be watching this thinking it's a load of bullshit or might not even watch this at all and that's completely okay. I just wanted to produce this video because I know there's some people that watch my videos and have me on Instagram etc and always enjoy when I make raw videos and also videos that they can probably end up helping themselves. I don't know, I just felt like this needed to be explained within a video. So that is what I'm going to do today. If you do enjoy this video and appreciate me going through this, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it as well if you think it might be worthwhile for someone to see someone else's spiritual journey. And yeah, let's crack on with the video. I've literally got a frigging pen and a pad of what I'm gonna speak about. Um, so let's start with how I started um, this journey that I am on. I am by no means finished. This, I'm very probably near the beginning of my journey. Um, but yeah, I've always been quite a spiritual person. I don't know if it's because of my background or my family background. Um, my grandma was very into the spiritual world. She went to spiritual church. My mum does quite a lot spiritually. So I feel like it's naturally been brought up around me. So myself, I've always thought there's something bigger um, out there and something deeper within ourselves spiritually. Um, and there is people guiding us through this journey of life. And that's just become more real over the past year. I started getting more into my own spiritual journey, probably in lockdown one, um, just a little bit here and there. I tried to do meditation previous however it just didn't seem to work for me i couldn't get in there i couldn't get out of my own mind and that is something i wanted to try over the first lockdown so every other day then it became every day um i'd like to just spend five to ten minutes trying to find a way of switching off of not thinking not overthinking because i am a huge overthinker i can <laughs> put my hands up and say that i overthink everything and it was getting to a point where it's too much um it'd be constant i wouldn't have a break i was tired from the amount my brain was um overthinking um to be honest it was getting consuming and I needed to find a way of just switching off and breaking free <laughs> of the inside voice in my head. So that ended up being meditation, literally just sitting on my bed, lying on my floor, a bit of calm music, trying to get through the barrier of my own thoughts. It is hard, I will admit. Um, there was days I'd do two minutes and switch it off. Um, it's just retraining your brain you need to find ways of breathing focusing on your breath and then all of a sudden one day after a few weeks a couple of months it will click and when it clicks it's crazy because you're no longer thinking your own thoughts there is no thoughts there you're just at peace you're focusing on your breath and you're just somewhere else. When that moment hits, it's just 
really calming and rewarding at the fact that you can actually switch off your brain and your obsessive thoughts to be honest um my thoughts would always be the friggin same so when that breakthrough moment happened i was like wow oh my gosh this is big i can get somewhere else in my brain um that part really helps with anxiety and stuff as well um switching off from yourself is a great thing for anxiety having being able to just do that practice of a deep breathing technique somewhere, maybe on your own, stood, closing your eyes, whatever it is that gets you there is just a great release of, right, I'm okay, I can do this, I'm okay. Open your eyes again, I'm here. Um, and yeah, that is literally all I was really doing in the first lockdown was trying to find a way past the barrier i was reading a book and i still reread it to this day let me grab it so i can show you this is the book so it's called untamed and it's great this is what helped me um find the way to break out of my obsessive thoughts to start meditating um it's a great book it's good to literally grab hold a highlighter with and just friggin highlight bits and bobs and go back through it and reread i'm literally rereading it now um yeah this is a great book especially if you're starting out on wanting to get into your mind as a woman so I recommend this. So that's how I started, literally just general meditation with freaking shitty calming music from Spotify. <laughs> and yeah, it was a little bit of a breakthrough. It just made me calmer as a person. Then I started to go for Reiki, which I have spoken about in previous videos. I think it was in my Christmas video because I got a voucher, which I'm not used yet because of lockdown. I'm so excited to go back. But yeah, I started Reiki. So for those of you that don't know what Reiki is, it's an energy palm healing that goes through each of your seven chakras to encourage emotional and physical healing. Now we have seven chakras in our body. Um, we go from the bottom up, so I will go, I'll quickly tell you what the seven chakras are. The first one is your root, which is like near your feet. Um, obviously makes sense because you're rooted into the, into the ground. So why wouldn't it be <laughs> the bottom one? Then you've got your sacral. Then you've got your solio plexus. Then you've got your heart. Then you've got your throat, your third eye and your crown. Um, yeah, so if there is an emotional blockage within one of them, then obviously it's going to reiterate your next chakra. So if you are really emotionally or physically um, need a lot of healing or you're very blocked in your root, obviously that's at the bottom um, of your chakras. So that is then going to slowly affect all of your others. Your root is your trust. They all have different meanings. So your roots, your trust, your sacral is like your sexuality and creativity. Your solio plexus is your wisdom. Your heart is obviously love and healing. Your throat is your communication. Your third eye is your awareness. And your crown, bitches, is your spirituality. So if there is going to be a blockage in one of them, then obviously it's going to have an effect onto the rest of you but if they're all completely free you're able to get to the top you're able to be spiritually aware and free and present within the moment i went into reiki not having a frigging clue what it was um to be honest i'd never really heard of it and then i started researching about it went for it and i will not look back um my experience was <sighs> incredible it links very much with the video i put up on my insta story um relating to the meditation that i have been doing so i will go into that because the two stories kind of link together with my experiences so i have been doing some deep home meditation via some youtube channel which is rising higher meditations there is loads on there um 
but the one I did, I saw a lot of people rave about over on TikTok. And my best friend sent it me over. Um, and I thought, you know what? Let's try this to see if it actually works. And yeah, it worked very much indeed. Um, it was very overwhelming and very magical. Um, again, some of you will probably find this bullshit or not real or I'm making it up, etc. But that's each to their own. Um, I'm going to insert a clip here or a couple of clips here after um after the meditation so here's them clips for you to have just a little watch of i just um i just saw my gran my gran was just in the room with me My grand was just in the room with me. Oh, like it's a freaking. Oh, wow. As you can see, um, that same experience happened to me in my Reiki um, practice. My gran was in the room with me there. Um, it's hard for me to explain because people will probably think, I mean, she, I could feel her. Um, I could see her. Um, she was physically controlling my body, um, which she did last time as well. Um, and when I say physically moving my body i mean i mean arms i mean legs touching me um yeah in the in the reiki it was more she was moving the lady was more asking her to, if she was present if she if someone was still in the room and my body parts like moved my arm wave to say like yes um but here at home the meditation that i did my gran wasn't the one that came through my great gran was the one that came through and on the meditation you had a time um to speak to someone and I was speaking to her and asking her if my gran was okay, if she was there. Um, and as soon as that was asked, my arm from the side of me moved all the way up to around my body. I was laying on the floor moved all the way up around my body, all the way over my head and my hand rested on my hair and was playing with my head. And that's what, that's what my gran used to do to me. I just wanted to make sure she was okay. It was a meeting your spiritual guides um, meditation. Um, I didn't think in by any means that a home meditation could be so spiritually deep. And I don't know. And that's why I had to put a video on my Instagram story to people close to me 
to say like if anyone wants to do this please let me know your experience because this is my experience it was beautiful it was magical but some people that asked for the link loads of people asked for the link loads of people wanted to make sure i was okay i had people messaging if i was okay because i was a friggin sobbing mess literally the whole day my eyes were red raw um loads of people asked me for the link so i just wanted to put on here maybe why it went so deep maybe it's because i have been more spiritually aware i've spoken to my spirit guides before um yeah i just wanted to see if what was happening to me is happening to others but then everyone's journey is different but i just wanted to kind of like clarify um why i put that video on my story it's because what happened to me was so deep and magical and so needed so needed that i just wanted to see if others had the same um the same reaction the same yeah it was a deep meditation um very deep in the fact that my body for the whole day felt like all the energy had been used my legs were tired my mind was open though i felt free i felt alive i felt well and comfortable and loved and as if the healing journey process that i'm on for myself is actually happening and it is true and i'm being guided by the people that i wanted to be guided by um through this life through this journey and i just wanted to make sure that they were okay and i was okay and i was yeah spirituality is each to their own following practices is each to their own i it just i don't know what it is but i just feel like i needed to share this with you or to the five people to the two people to the ten people that this might help um or to the people that potentially are a little bit skeptical of it all but are like you know what i wouldn't mind trying it do try it just give it a go and see um meditation i thought what the hell is this i can't turn off these shitty thoughts in my head um you can and when you break through that's the best bit and then when you can go deeper it gets oh starts to transform your life and the amount of people that have said to me in this past year in the past six months three months whatever it is you're glowing your your skin you, your mind you look happy um you look yourself you look like for once <laughs> for once you're happy with yourself um and i am and i think truly it is down to this just being in tune with myself more doing things for you i think is the biggest healer um and the biggest accomplishment you can do for yourself if you want to friggin lie on the floor for 10 minutes you do that if it makes you feel better do you know what i mean yeah i'm just a firm believer in it and you need to always give yourself a hug because that's what i had to do <laughs> um yeah that's it I just wanted to i should have probably gone into <laughs> what happened more but i could have gone into it more and people have been like this is this girl's lying she moved around herself no as you can probably see from the videos i placed in here i'm sobbing it was there she was there it was very real um and that's all there is to say to all those people that asked for the link 
I really hope you do it and I really hope you get something from it. Um, you all deserve, and all the people that ask for it, you all deserve to feel a freeness from it. Um, I will link the video that I used down below in the description box. And please, please just let me know if you found it helpful, if you found it freeing, magical, um, if you thought it was a load of crap, if it didn't work, please, I'd love for you to all let me know whether it's in the comments of this video or even privately messaging me on my Instagram or socials. I would be really, really intrigued to know. Um, if it doesn't happen to you the first time, doesn't mean to say that it won't happen to you the fourth, the fifth. Um, just become at one with your body and yourself and all your chakras and then we'll be queens of our spirituality um that's all there is to say to the two people to the five people to the ten to the hundreds um i really hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up subscribe all that jazz video will be in the description box take care of yourselves and i will see you soon for another video goodbye